that's the life. Oh, hello and welcome. Yeah, I'm here on a desolated island. And I think uh, some of you have already seen it. But in today's video, I'm going to explain to you how you can do this yourself. So let's take a little stroll around the island. So as you can see, everything is flattened. Everything is beneath uh, the water level. Yeah, and I'm going to show you everything you need to do in order to get this island. So you can finally build some large structures, yay, like uh, this one over there. As you can see, the tower is pretty big. Yeah, like 80 blocks big. But let's go to another island and I'll show you how it's done. But because we're going on a little adventure, we'll need some food. Let's take some potatoes, some oil and some fish. And we'll also need some lava. Oh, I already had it. Hmm, perfect. So, let's cook up some food. Potatoes, oil and fish. Oh, what do we get here? What do we get here? Ah, some fish and chips. Yeah, let's take a few with us. So, we'll talk to the ship captain and he'll give us the option to make our own Buildatopia. And I already created three. But he'll also ask you to search for an island. And if this option doesn't show up for you, make sure to play through the game first. So, let's visit one island. And I always like to search for a large island, which is kind of the Blossom Bay style. This way you'll have an island which is roughly around uh, 400 by 400 blocks. Where the ocean meets the building area. Because everything that's bright blue, there you can still build on. Ah, but I'm pretty slow in the water. What can we do about it? Ah, maybe we should eat something. Ben can swim like a fish? What? Yeah, make sure to get some fish and chips. This will help you immensely to build underwater. Because now we want to build a wall where the ocean meets the island. And just take a look at the overview map and let's see where we start the wall. I always like to make them straight, so I'll see where there are some kind of hindrances. So we'll start over here. So up to here. And up to here for now. So let's lay down one more block. But we can also use uh, the binoculars, which you'll unlock by completing all 60 tablet targets. And those will be important for a later part as well. So just make sure to have the binoculars. I mean, uh, you could still do it without them, but uh, it's far easier with them. So now the island is closed off in this corner. And uh, yeah, you would have to do this everywhere if you want this bright blue water to be buildable area as well. So now... We'll use the Transformer Trowel and uh, thanks to Arcane from my Discord server, he found out a pretty neat trick on how to lay those down as fast as possible. So normally you would have to push, go one back, push, or hold both look up and down buttons, move back and push, push, and push, like this. But if you go into binocular mode, like this, and now you go down with the cursor a bit, so the wall is overlapping you perfectly. Then just press the button. This way you don't need to move anywhere and you can just spam the button. Yeah, pretty, pretty neat. So like this and the other side as well. this and now we'll continue on the inner part. Yeah, and as you just saw, always make sure to use full stacks of at least 10 blocks. Now here as well. So, and when you are at a point where you can't lay down any more wards, make sure to fill those holes up. So, like this, because those could be in the way when you want to lay down some walls. Now we got rid of every item, and now we want to lay down walls on the next level. And I'm already laying down a block, so we can lay down the walls later. 
So, uh, some space, like this. Yeah, this should be fine. Now over here. <sighs> like this. And now I'll just speed up the process until I have this corner finished. Yeah, and this is what the block was for. I mean, maybe you don't need it, but just to make sure. And if you're running out of blocks like I am right now, just use some other blocks, like uh, those dolomite blocks, maybe. Or use your golem. Where, where's the golem? Uh, over there. To smash some blocks and uh, get them pretty fast. So, now it should look something like this. And now we close off the remaining holes. Of course, if you have a big gap like I have right now, you could also destroy some of those blocks and then just lay down some more walls. So, let's frame the area we did. And make it nice and pretty. So, now it will look like this. You only have one more water level left. And this is where this handy tool comes into play. The bottomless pot with some lava. And the bottomless pot has a radius of seven blocks. So you lay down one block. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a radius. So we want to place down the block somewhere over here. Uh, like here. And now you just want to pour the lava into the water. And uh, this is what happens. Yeah. This is a pretty easy way to get some ground. So we can also go ahead and just place them down like we want. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or into this direction. Because otherwise, if you pour over here or over here, you'll mess up your counting. And over here. And if you should have some lava blocks sticking out of the water, then just fill them with some blocks. But it happens rarely. So, like this. And now let's also do it over here. Let's see. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Nah. I didn't count well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, whoops. So, yeah, and I think we have a buildable area. Yeah, this way you can make in a matter of like half an hour, I think, you can make an area of uh, 50 by 50 blocks maybe and convert all the ocean water into buildable blocks. Yeah, pretty neat, but we're not done yet. So over there, you can see someone walking around. And if you want, you can dig down in this area. And why would you do that? Because on Blossom Bay, your maximum build height is about, uh, I think, 60 blocks. Somewhere around that. And you can dig down about 40 blocks. So if we dig down with the golem about 20 or 30 blocks deep, then we have a build height of 90 blocks. That really comes in handy if you want to build a huge church, for example. Yeah. <laughs> so, what you want to do for that? We go into a corner and look for an area of 5x5, five five, like over here. Now we dig down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now we'll destroy it. Like this. And now we'll dig down 5 more blocks. 1, 2, Three, four, five, and we'll destroy it. So you'll have something like this. But uh, how do we get out? 
Oh wait, let's do it like this. Or use the binoculars. Golem! Golem! I need your help! Oh, hi there, little cutie. Yeah. He doesn't have 100% happiness. Meh. Goldie! I missed you. Let's go. So, the golem will destroy up to 10 by 10 by 10 blocks. So now we can just go ahead and punch some holes in the walls. And if you want to know where you can find him, this one is on Coral K. You'll find him strolling around at the border of the main island, or he'll be on a little island inside the ocean of this island. And then the stone golem will be, I think, on Rimey Reef. There he'll be on top of one of those mountains on Rimey Reef. And the earth or bronze golem will be on Sunny Sands. He'll be also on one of uh, those mountains over there. So, but now let's destroy some blocks. So, because the range is so big, we want to get into the corner and then just destroy. Yeah, and it was one too far left. Meh. Ah, but nothing we can fix later. So, now we want to get one over here and destroy. <laughs> Normally I'm so good. What the heck? <laughs> ah. <laughs> I need to re-record. <laughs> That's an issue with the golem. You can't really see where you're punching. But just make sure to be somewhere around the center of the hole you punched and then just punch. So like somewhere over here and punch. Yeah, almost. <laughs> yeah, this is what I intended to do. So, and remove the rest of the blocks in the center. I'm sorry, zombie Rick. So, now I'll fix <laughs> what I messed up. But uh, if you do it right, and uh, not like me, then you shouldn't have this issue. Yeah, and this is what it will look like if you did everything uh, right. <laughs> and I would advise you to save before you use the golem. Because if you mess up too much, you can just reload and try again. But uh, yeah, because I'm not uh, saving while recording, this happened. And now you have a perfectly built area to build high buildings. And of course you can also use the golem and dig a bit deeper. And this you can do on the whole island. Yeah, it will take some time, but it's totally worth the work. I can only attest to that. So, and now you can just go ahead and use the transformer trowel and maybe you want to transform the walls. Right over here, and over here, or just the floor, like this. And if you're like me and you like your island totally covered in grass, then here's another trick. Make sure that you have plant growth enabled in the settings. This way, when you put down grass patches, just put it down three blocks away from each other and they will spread over time and they will close off the gaps. This way you can save a lot, a lot of grassy earth. Or you can also use uh, the grass seeds. Now we'll just wait a while and let's see what happens. Ah! What the heck, zombie rig? Get away from me. You're creeping me out. And as you can see, right before sunset, those tiles will spread out randomly and right after morning, as you can see. Yeah, and I think that's all you need to do about terraforming your island. Yeah, and I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please tell me with a like and I'll see you in the next video. So have a good day, morning or evening or a very good night. Until then, bye. <sighs> but now I'm trapped, can't get out. Ah, over there.